Now it is important to realize that the events in the South are of great importance and affect the course and essence of the entire war. Russia seeks to preserve the land corridor to Crimea and the Crimean Bridge. At the same time, Ukraine is trying to sever this logistical link at its most key link, the land corridor, which will make maintaining the peninsula militarily critically costly and pointless. Clearly, the Crimean Bridge is highly vulnerable. And the long-term defense of Crimea, in conditions of complete isolation is impossible. Especially in the conditions of the AFU's regular and massive strikes on the port and military infrastructure of the peninsula itself. The defense of Crimea has strategic content exclusively until the AFU has broken through the first and second positions of the main defense line of the Russian groups Zaporizhia and East. As soon as the land corridor becomes impassable, and this may happen even without the AFU's access to the coast of the Sea of Asov, and the Crimean Bridge will be in the range of the AFU's long-range precision weapons, the issue of the defense of Crimea will become especially piquant for strategists in the Kremlin. As far as I understand, these are exactly the strategic goals that Ukraine has set for the 2023 campaign. To date, Ukraine has achieved certain results. In the operational tactical direction Tokmak, Militopol, the AFU managed to overcome the first position of the enemy's main defense line. In addition, the AFU has acquired the ability to deliver sufficiently massive and concentrated strikes on the enemy's military infrastructure in Crimea, as well as to influence the functioning of the Crimean Bridge. All of this is of course far from the ultimate strategic goals, but some progress is evident. Another question is what are the further prospects for the AFU to achieve its goal by the end of the 2023 campaign? Three main factors can be emphasized. Overcoming the echelon and prepared enemy defenses on the way to the Sea of Asov will require a huge amount of effort and resources from the AFU. Effective strikes on the military infrastructure in Crimea must be regular and massive. After the rupture of the land corridor, the Crimean bridge will only partially satisfy the enemy's logistical needs. Also we should not forget about the population of the peninsula and occupied parts of Kherson and Zaporizhia regions, which the enemy will also have to provide exactly through the Crimean bridge. Therefore any influence of the AFU on the size of its carrying capacity is critical for the enemy. To increase the influence it is necessary either to go to the coast of the Sea of Asov or the Allies must sharply increase the volume of supplies of long-range precision weapons and not only them. Also the Ukrainian side must neutralize or severely limit the enemy in the air and at sea in this strategic direction. The impact on the military infrastructure in Crimea will also depend on the supply of high precision and long-range means of defeat. What could be the negative scenario? It is possible that the goals for the 2023 campaign will have to be reconsidered, and the Ukrainian side may have to limit itself to narrowing the land corridor to the south, rather than cutting it completely. Our appeals to our representatives in Congress or to members of the European Parliament can expedite their sound decisions. Don't forget about this.